Hi everybody, it's Tanya with Riley and Company again. Welcome to the Stampin' Scrapbook Expo at Home Card Makers Edition. So you are gonna love Riley and Company stamps. We focus on cards, that's what our deal is. And we have about 830 some odd snarky sayings for stamps and a new release, so I can't wait to show you. I'm going to turn this around just a second and get us all hooked up here. Hopefully I won't disconnect you. Ha ha, there you are. Get you all lined up here. And we will continue. Um, Riley started, the Riley and Company started as a moose. And of course, Riley is our moose. He's our logo, our mascot, our main guy. That's not all we have though. But on the Riley line, we have individual cling mounted stamps in different things like professions, um, we have one with a little beer, a mailman, doctors, nurses, sports. We have all kinds of sports, Christmas, all kinds of holidays, and that's Riley himself. However, we also have his buddies. We have Felix the cat and Leroy the dog. He's French. It's not Leroy, it's Leroy. We have Bert, the snarky cat, which I absolutely love. If you color his uh, eyes black, it looks like he has sunglasses on. We have Tucker the pup, which is actually Tucker, my dog. Then we have the Funny Bones line, and everybody loves the Funny Bones line. We are the original home of snarky stamps. We have over 830 and counting funny bone stamps on our website. So if you want a good time, just go out there, sit, grab a glass of wine or a soda and just laugh until you have tears in your eyes. So we have Christmas themed funny bones. We have lots for holidays, yoga class. I thought you said pour a glass. Oh, you can't see this yet. Uh oh, I'm not saying that you're old, but if you were milk, I'd sniff you first. We have a lot of birthday sayings to go with your cards. Wouldn't it be so great if we could put ourselves in the dryer for 10 minutes and come out wrinkle free and three sizes smaller, if that would only work, right? Whole bunch of people be riding dryers these days. Of course you look good, I don't have ugly friends. Alcohol, because no great story ever started with eating a salad. We have a lot of fun alcohol sayings, birthday sayings, and of course there's a lot that aren't alcohol sayings for those of you that don't like them. Now I wanted to show you how adorable these are on cards. We have a brand new release this week. And these are a few of them. Procrastinating, doing craft projects when you should be doing laundry, cleaning, or making dinner. Well, yeah. And look at how cute this card is. Isn't that adorable? It's got little stamping Riley on it. What if slugs are snails that have gone through a divorce and she got the house? Right? And look at this adorable card that goes with it. This is our large gnomes that we just came out with last release and our mini gnomes that we just came out with last release. Here's another one from our new release. Am I getting older as a supermarket playing great music? You know, it's funny. We chose this one because I was actually in the supermarket and I'm like, oh my God, they're playing great music. Yeah. Okay. There's a cute card with it. Now we have 18 funny bones in this release. This is just four of them that I thought was cute. I thought I was having a hot flash this morning. Then I realized it was just my boobs and my coffee. <laughs> and here's a cute card. You could send that to any woman that's having hot flashes and she would totally get it. So that's our funny bones line. And we also have one of my very, very, very favorite lines. Um, that we had on the last show and that's our mushroom lane line and mushroom lane is just a village of about 24 different stamps it's a village of houses but they're little gnome houses so there's the polka dot house and here's polka dot two and there is a tri-level house and we just came out with dies for these three particular ones that make them 3d now all of the mushroom lane does not have dies the, these three do, but they are coming. Hang on, they are coming. They are so popular, we're getting them made. Here's a few more from that line. Here's the library. And another little house. And another little house. 
And of course, these are the mini gnomes and we have the larger gnomes too. These little mini gnomes are only like an inch tall. They're perfect for these little houses. And this is what the dies are like. They help you stack them on top of each other and you end up getting a 3D effect. And finally, we have the funnest line. This is called, let me save my samples for later. This is called Dress Up Riley. Dress Up Riley, think um, paper dolls, okay? So we took Riley and put him in rubber stamps and gave him two different poses. Then we added the bovines, okay? And they have two different poses. And of course, all of these have matching dies as well, okay? Then we added, those are your basic sets that you start with. Then we added all these different sets. I believe there's 24 of them now that are accessory sets that you can dress up your Riley or you can dress up your cow with these various sets. Here's a birthday set. Here's a camper set. This is wildly, wildly popular. And of course, they all have matching dyes. All right. I'll show you guys some samples in a minute. Here's a winter set. Here's a brand new summer set we just came out of with, with the palm trees and swimsuits and his little surfboard and shells. We have Halloween sets. We actually have two Halloween sets. Here's his set. He has his own tractor. Here's a set he has his own motorcycle. Of course, we have the Christmas set that has Santa and Mrs. Claus and a little elf. And here is our first Halloween set. And like I said, we have 24 of them. I just grabbed a few. Here are some of the samples from that line. You are going to love these. Here he is all dressed up with his motorcycle. Oops, I should put those over there. This little motorcycle. Is that adorable? This is Dress Up Riley. Here is samples from the camper set. Look, the moose with a little s'more. And Riley with a s'more, and it has its little fire. Then from the Halloween line, you can dress him up like a little pirate. There's all kinds of different sets in there. This next set is from our Valentine St. Patrick's Day set. And as you can tell, a cow in a kilt. Does it get any funnier than this? You can make these up ahead of time if you want and put them in your scrapbooks. You can put them on the front of your cards. This is one of my favorite dress up sets. It is the fall set. Isn't this incredible? You get the fence and the, the corn stalks right here is just from the stock of hay that it had. Here is a cow in a birthday suit. That's the birthday set. You can do it, of course, with the moose as well. And here's Riley and his tractor. He even has chickens for this set and little hay. So that is our dress up set. Um, all four of those lines, of course, available on our website, rileyandcompany.com. Um, now let's talk about the specials that we're having for this event. Um, we are going to do, last time we did um, Funny Bone Specials. This time we are going to do a sale on all of our card kits or the card kits that we have. We have two different card kits and we have a graphic 45 kit that does three desk sets. Um, absolutely amazing. We have all these sets that we were going to teach classes at conventions with this year. And since the conventions aren't being able to be held, we are going to let you purchase them for 20% off. And you can grab two or three. Get your friends together. Have your own little mini class together with conventions and I'm going to show or with your own little convention. I'm sorry, not at a convention. Um, I'm going to show you how our kits are assembled. I believe that you should be able to sit down and do everything in that kit without a whole lot of work. So this is our mushroom lane kit. As you will see, it comes with, um, the tape. It comes with instructions. It comes with glossy accents. And it has everything pre-cut in here to make those three cards that I showed you a while ago. This card, and that card, and that card. Pretty fantastic, huh? So, moving right along. Um, this is the Mushroom Lane 3D card kit, okay? You'll get all three. Now, the next kit that I want to show you is so wildly successful. I do one every year at all the conventions because everybody loves the funny bone cards. 
And this kit is online right now. You can also get it for 20% off. And it includes these cards. Okay, take every birthday with a grain of salt. This works much better if the salt is accompanied by a margarita. What it does not have in it, of course, is the crystal lacquer and markers or adhesive. So you need to make sure that you get your markers out. It has this card. If you take all the marshmallows out of a box of Lucky Charms, you're left with a box of Perina Cat Chow. So true. This is from the Dress Up set. This is from the St. Patrick's Valentine set. And I'll be darned if it doesn't look like little marshmallows out of a Lucky Charms box. I told you I was going to show you this again. I'm not saying you're old, but if you were milk, I'd sniff you first. And our little Betty Leroy. All the pieces are pre-cut for you. Everything I'll show you in a minute what you get in the kit. This is another card that comes in it. Happy birthday. I hope your day is as fun and amazing as I am. Little Tucker. And this is hilarious. A, because I love Baileys. And B, because I love Ireland. And C, well, I love coffee. So if I put some, ba I put some Baileys in my coffee because it's Ireland somewhere. <laughs> these are fabulous cards that's what's included in this kit now let me show you the insides when you open this kit up you will get a photograph of all the cards together okay and then you will get little packs like this everything is pre-cut for you in each pack and we've kitted it together so everything you need for this card is in this pack everything you need for this card is in this pack etc etc and you also get a package of the matte sprinkles to put on your cards so let me go a little bit more detail when you get these you're going to pull them apart and you're going to end up with a little set like this and this is where we're going to do our fun card demo okay so you're going to get the background i just folded that in half you're going to get all the pieces of paper all cut for you just like this and you're going to get a big card I don't put card instructions in my card kits because I know my customers are crazy smart and they can look at the picture and know exactly what to do, right? <laughs> Absolutely. The only problem is, is you guys not to being able to take classes, you're going to get them miss the fun of a fun class with Riling Company, but we will definitely see you next year. Hang in there. We will see you next year. Okay. So let's put this, let's put this card together. All right, what I usually do, you do not have to do this, this is an optional, is I normally take my little sponge and I take vintage photo and I just gently edge the edges of all my pieces of paper before I do them, before I put them together, okay? So I'm going to edge this up, just like this. And it just gives it something. It takes away that, that harsh white. It's not a lot. Because you don't want to, you don't want to see all vintage photo ink, right? I don't do the glitter papers. I don't want color on my glitter papers if there's some in the kits that you get in that particular card. But then there's this. Okay, and there's one final strip right here. We meticulously put these kits together for you. So that there's no cutting, no hard work for you. So now I have all my pieces edged, okay? I'm not going to do the glitter edge, all right? And I have my little ribbon. So the next thing I'm going to do is color my Tucker real quick. And for Tucker and for Riley, what I do a lot is I use um, Copic markers always, okay? And I use E33 a lot. And I'm going to show you a real quick way to color with Copic markers that you're going to love. Now, this is, like I said, E33, and I'm just going to go around his eyes. Now, Copic markers are alcohol-based, so that means if you want to use them again, I didn't mean again, if you want to use them on a stamped image instead of the image we sent you, you have to use a dye-based ink, okay? So it's an alcohol marker dye-based ink. The ink I really, really love is Memento dye-based ink. I also love Catherine Pooler's all-purpose ink. I love it. So now you'll see that I have Tucker all colored in, but what if I want to shade him 
you can do that with the same marker. You don't need to grab a bunch of markers. If you only have one or two, it's okay. You can still shade with Copic. The great thing about alcohol markers is they blend together. Once the alcohol is laid down, they blend together. So I'm just going to add some shadows under his neck where he would be and some shadows behind his legs where they would be, right? And a little bit under his mouth where they would be and his little ears. And of course, back in here, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to do a little on his brow. Okay. And you will notice that it will just shade on its own. If it doesn't, if it looks very bluntly black and white like that, go ahead and do it again, but bring another series of shades together and it will shade for you. Look at that. While it's wet, it will blend for you. Pretty easy, huh? So when I do an animal like this, I always get a light blue and I normally, for you Copic people, I normally use a B00 for the eyes of my people and my animals. So I am going to just bring a little bit here in a little bit there. See how it gives it just that little bit of a pop? Okay. And the last thing we want to do is just color his little nose black. Or you can make it pink if you want it. I'm going to do a black little black nose. All right. And that is as easy as it is. And there's little Tucker all colored up. You can make him black and white. You can make him yellow if you have a blonde dog. Um, so now we're just going to put this together. And I'm going to introduce you guys to the most amazing thing on the planet right here. Well, maybe not the plan of it, you know. So this is called Zip Dry. This is wonderful zoo. I wonderful zoo, wonderful zip dry, not zoo. Um, I had a store many years ago, about five or six years ago. We had it for 12 years, and I sold this glue over and over and over and over and over because it's that good. So this is like liquid, like rubber cement in a bottle. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go around the edge. Now, the great thing about this glue is, if you're like me, I love straight lines. And if you used a, a tape runner and this happened, look what would happen. You'd have to rip one of them, right? Not with zip dry. While it's wet, it lets you move it around. Just like that. You get perfect edges every time. But what if I wanted to use the other side? No problem. With zip dry, you just pull it right off. And because it's like rubber cement, you just rub it off and see how it all comes off. Get it on your hands, it comes off. And then you just re-glue it and put it on. Now you can only do this for about five minutes and then it locks down on you and you will not be able to get it off. So please note that. We also have that on our website. It's absolutely my favorite glue ever. So now I'm just gonna look at my picture and I'm going to assemble my card just like in the picture. I'm gonna just follow layer by layer. That's all we're gonna do. Okay, if your zip dry gets um, stuck like mine just did, okay, we are going to just use a pen, go down in there. It gets a little gummy and it's okay. You just squeeze it out, rub it on your fingers. So now we have this. Okay, we are going to put that right there. And I think I dropped a piece on the floor. You'll have a little green piece here that I completely forgot. Um, and what we're, oh no, I'm sorry. It's this side. <laughs> All right, make sure you check both sides. So we're just gonna ink this side out too. All right, we're gonna use our scissors and just cut us a little like that. And we're gonna put that on right there. And you're saying, but what about it's overlapping on the side? It's okay. I'm going to show you how to take that off here in a second. So this is going to sit just like that. Let me show you how to make a tag real quick, okay? I'm going to cut it off like this. Flip it over. I'm almost out of time. Flip it over. We're going to punch a hole in it. For time's sake, I'm not going to attach the ribbon. But I am going to attach this, okay? And I hate it when I'm running out of time, then I get all flustered and stuff. So I'm going to attach that there. I'm going to make sure that it's on here nice and straight with my zip dry. I'm going to turn it over. And for the sake of the card itself, you would add the ribbon here. 
I'm going to go underneath and punch that hole. Okay, that is going to sit on there with the ribbon. And your Riley is going to sit right here. You're going to take your dots then, and you are going to put them right on. So I am out of time. Thank you very much. Make sure you go to Riley and Company. And again, 20% off all the kits on our website. Have a great day and enjoy the rest of the show.